One of the first things you notice at Paco's Tacos is this funky little machine. It flattens balls of dough into flour tortillas that are cooked in just minutes as they ride on heated turntables. It, it basically drops them and cooks them. The flavor is just so fresh tasting and the texture is fantastic. It's just like got a little bit of elasticity to it and it's just you can't beat it. The tortillas are used in about everything here from unusual tacos, this one known as shakedown shrimp, to big burritos. And that's cheese enchilada. This is definitely Charlotte's most authentic taste of Tex-Mex. I got a cheeseburger quesadilla. How is it? It's delicious. It's a hybrid food. It's like Italian-American food. It is a hybrid food. Between northern Mexican cooking and then, and then Texas cowboy food. Owner Frank Chabelli toured Texas and Mexico getting ideas for Paco's Tacos. He bought the tortilla machine and learned the ways of Tex-Mex cooking. All the cooking is started or done on open fire wood. It's an all natural hormone free beef. A lot, a lot of beef is what's used. If you think about campfire cooking, it's done over wood. It's not done over a gas flame. You know, you, everything's got a little smokiness to it. Speaking of smoky, Chef Jared Cannon just put a big slab of beef brisket on the wood grill. It's the first step in a long process of preparing the restaurant's best seller. We do a smoked beef brisket taco called Paco's Taco. We start it on a wood burning grill. Chef Jared makes sure the brisket gets plenty of smoke and a nice char from the wood grill. We're just going to cover it with this braising liquid from prior batches. and retains all that flavor from all the meat. And then we cook, finish it in the oven for about six to seven hours. We cook it with chilies, onion, and garlic. That tender, gorgeous brisket. Perfect. Perfect seasoning, perfect flavor. The brisket is hand pulled into chunks, piled onto one of those fresh taco shells. This is a house-made chipotle barbecue. We take the, the drippings from the pan to make a barbecue sauce. Some nice, fresh queso fresco. I'm eating uh, Paco's tacos. Very good. I had the Paco taco as well. And um, it's a little on the spicy side, but delicious. People love it. It's, a, it's our best-selling dish. Frank Chabelli owns some of Charlotte's most popular restaurants. And whether it's Italian at Mama Ricotta's or Tex-Mex here at Paco's Tacos, he's constantly traveling and learning. You guys had the tortas today? From their last trip to Mexico, Frank and Chef Jared came back all fired up about sandwiches, known as tortas. So the steak torta is something we saw in Mexico. It was uh, basically all over the street. The bottom of the bun is always going to be smeared with fresh avocado. Give it that creaminess. And then uh, refried beans on the top bun. Then fresh off the grill, hormone-free skirt steak, sliced thin, piled high. Top that with mixed cheese. Peppers and onions here. Now your take on your classic fajita. Lettuce. Pico de gallo. It is a nice size sandwich. Customers who've tried it love the torta. How was it? It was excellent. And it's great crab meat. Frank Chabelli and Chef Jared constantly taste and tinker. And wait till you see their latest taco, something they discovered on the streets of Mexico. Sort of similar to southern fried turkey. Yes, he said deep fried turkey. The pieces are dropped into a bubbling pot of lard, but more ingredients are coming. After about 30 minutes, we're going to add a mixture of milk, Coca-Cola, fresh orange juice, some thyme, a lot of garlic. And still later in the frying process, a thick caramel sauce is added, sticky and sweet, right into the pot give a great flavor to the finish of the meat. Once out of the fryer, the turkey is added to a freshly made tortilla. Then a salsa that's made just for this taco is added. It's got tomatoes, avocado, and radishes. It's got so much flavor. You know, it's just so unique. I've never seen it before. Of course, the menu is loaded with a lot of unusual items. Shrimp ambush. The ambush shrimp are stuffed with cheese, wrapped in bacon, then grilled. A spicy jalapeno cream sauce is added. That's very good. So, a little taste of Texas, a little taste of Mexico. But most of all, Frank Chevelli says Paco's Tacos is just good eating. Chicken quesadilla. And fun. If you think about that whole cowboy culture, it's like it's a Tex-Mex, it's just a fun place to go. 